I've become a big fan of JJ's Magic. Uh, it's according to the label, it's a dipping dye with garlic oil, and bass love it. For me, it's got a couple of advantages. Number one, it adds a little bit of scent, and I'm a firm believer that that scent, that garlic taste, whatever it is, um, the bass have a tendency to hold on a little bit longer, which is fine with me because it allows me more time for the hook set. But it also gives this incredible chartreuse dye, in this particular case, comes in other colors. Um, very, very easy to use. It's very simple. I'll show you how that's used, but I just want to talk about a couple of precautions with this. Number one, if you'll notice, I'm sitting on top of the garbage can right now. I am not sitting at the kitchen table. There is a reason for that. If you get your JJ's Magic on something, it will dye it chartreuse. It will also make it smell like a pizza parlor for a long, long time. My Tahoe smells like a pizza parlor, if that gives you any indication. They also have a caution to keep it out of the reach of children. And let's see, they don't have it on here, but basically, they also have a precaution to watch this in the hot sun. Um, this will heat up, the product will expand in the hot sun, and you will have an issue on your hands. Um, just trust me, you'll have JJ's all over the place. So keep an eye on that. But it's pretty simple to use, and I'll show you on some of these Rage Menace, uh, you know, these Strike King Rage Menace, how I dip them, and it's pretty easy stuff to use. So hang tight, and let's get rolling. Okay, when I'm out fishing, I have a tendency to zip through these Rage Menace if that's what the fish are biting on. So one of my go-to colors is this black with blue flake, but I do like to have some of them dipped in the JJ's. So the way I do that is I like to get it done beforehand because sometimes it's a pain doing it in the kayak. I'll just dip the tail. It's pretty simple. Put it in the JJ's for three to five seconds. Pull it out and then set it somewhere and let it basically dry for probably about 15, 20 seconds. But you can see the tail, that chartreuse on there, well, that's really going to show up in the water. That's really going to be something else on the water. Um, it, just, it just adds that little extra zip to it. Now, I know if I can see it, it's definitely attracting the bass. Especially if you ever get around a place where you see a lot of bluegill and you observe the bluegill for a while. And you'll see that you'll, you'll get those flashes from the bluegill. And I think that that's something that's really, you know, we know bass are going to, they're opportunistic feeders. So they're going to eat whatever they can eat. And if it happens to be a bluegill, they're going to eat a bluegill. They have no problems with that. So keep that in mind. They see something like this popping by. And they're like, oh, hey, there's a tasty, tasty bluegill. So hope that helps. Like I said, the one thing with JJ's is heed the precautions. Open slowly. It's under pressure, especially under heat. Uh, do not leave it in the heat because it will create more pressure, which eventually will create a big problem for you. Use it sparingly. You don't need to dip the entire bait in there. You're just looking for a little bit of flash. And don't do it in your house if you plan on staying married. Because I've got a gut feeling, unless your wife grew up in a, or husband, grew up in a uh, pizza parlor themselves, they're not going to be too, too happy with this smell. And you get this on the kitchen table... Well, none of us are out looking for chartreuse-colored kitchen tables, so good luck.